Hi, I'm Tanya from Lovely Greens, and this is my sea glass stepping stone. I'm going to show you how to make this. I've just recently just sprayed this with the last varnish, so this is what it looks like completed. I made this project initially two years ago, and it's held up really well. It looks gorgeous in the sunshine, and it's a really durable, colorful, and creative item to have in your DIY garden. So come on, let's learn how to make this, and uh, let's begin. The materials for this project are pretty simple. First of all, you'll need a mold and you can use an old pan or a plastic tub. You also need cement and coarse aggregate. You can get both of these at a hardware store and all coarse aggregate is, is a mixture of sand and stones. You'll need white and silver spray paint, clear glossy spray paint, sea glass, stones, shells, pottery. And if you can't get a hold of sea glass, you can also use marbles. And then lastly, you'll need a square of chicken wire. If you live near the beach, you can usually find sea glass on kind of rockier areas or rockier beaches. I haven't had much luck finding it on sandy beaches. All sea glass is, is bits of broken glass that have been softened and bashed around by the sea. They're really soft to touch and they have a really beautiful color as well. The first step of this project is preparing the sea glass. Glass is transparent, that means it picks up the color that's behind it. So we need to spray paint the back sides of all of the pieces that we're going to use white. And that makes sure that the color of the glass pops rather than you seeing the color of the concrete behind. You also need to spray paint some of your stone silver. This is optional, but I think it makes it a really pretty stepping stone, almost mermaid-like. Once the sea glass is spray painted and completely dried, it's time to move on with preparing the base of our stepping stone. So we're gonna use the mold that we're gonna create the stepping stone in, and we're gonna measure in the cement and the coarse aggregate. It's gonna be one part of the cement and three and a half parts coarse aggregate. You can use any measuring tool to get it in there. Just use the actual mold as a gauge to see how much of the dry materials you need. I measured my pan about three quarters full of the dry ingredients. And then next, I poured it all into a bucket that I can mix it together with water. Now you add just enough water to moisten it and get it a bit pliable so that you can press things into. But if it's too sopping wet, it can take ages for it to dry out. It's great being able to show you the consistency of the cement and aggregate in this video. So once you get to something like what you see now, then you'll pour about half of it back into your pan or your mold. Make sure that it's cleaned out as well because any little extra bit of cement can cause your stepping stone to stick inside. Once you have half of it in, put in your square of chicken wire and then pour the rest of it on top. Settle the mixture and then tap it down as firmly as you can. Remove any of the stones that are sticking up out of the surface. Now comes the fun part. I've started off by spraying the top of my cement with silver spray paint, but that's totally optional. And then I've worked from the outside in to create a mosaic design. So I've created the border on the outside and then I've filled the inside in bit by bit. It probably took me about 20 minutes to finish the design completely. I'm using glass, shells, little bits of stone, pottery, and this is the end piece. Unfortunately, there's a little bit of water that seeps up during this process as well. And if this happens to you, then just dab it away with some toilet paper like I'm doing here. It'll be fine. Now comes the hard part. You've got to let this cure for at least two days, if not longer. I actually recommend leaving your stepping stone to cure for at least a week. So after you've waited that time, it's time to pop it out of the mold. It should pop out pretty easily. And if you've been impatient, like I have, and popped it out maybe a day or two too early, then the cement won't have had time to bond with all of the pieces. And you'll have a few of them, especially around the outside, as you see with mine, that have come off. If this happens to you, don't panic. We can fix it. Don't worry. 
So to fix all those little pieces, just mix a little bit of the cement with water, dab it into the places where the little pieces of glass came out, and just press them back in. Now you're gonna have to wait another couple of days for this to harden up, and then you'll be able to proceed to the next step. After the stone is completely hardened, clean it off as best you can, and then spray it with a layer of very glossy, clear varnish. Now this gives a really beautiful wet look finish that makes your stones look like they just came out of the sea. Afterwards, put it out into your flower beds, into the lawn, and it will beautify your garden for years to come. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, I've got another video for you. How to make a sea glass candle. It's far easier. It doesn't require anything other than the sea glass, a couple of glass jars, and the little tea lights. And then also, if you'd like to pick up the materials for this project, head over to lovelygreens.com and I have easy links as to where you can get everything online. Thanks again for watching and see you soon here on Lovely Greens.